Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I would like to discuss how to calculate gain or loss when exchange or trade in fixed asset using reducing balance method based on monthly basis. So we want to count when we want to calculate a computing depreciation there are two basis monthly or yearly monthly basis when we want to purchase the fixed asset we must calculate depreciation from the date of purchase until the date of ending accounting period so you can see that from first Till 15, we must calculate full month. And from 16 until 31st of the month, we must not calculate for that month. And another one, we want to calculate depreciation when we sell the fixed asset. So we have to calculate depreciation from beginning of accounting period until the selling date so from first until 15th of the month we must not calculate or not included for that month but we must include full month for the date 16 until 31st of the month that one is for selling so for purchasing we must Calculate depreciation from purchasing date until the end of accounting period. And for selling date, we must calculate depreciation from the beginning of accounting period until the selling date. When we want to exchange or trade in fixed asset for another fixed asset, we must calculate gain or loss. When we want to calculate gain or loss, we must compare the trade in value with book value. So, when we want to compare book value of old machine or old asset with trade in value, and when book value is bigger than trade in value, then we will get loss of disposal. And when we compare the book value, and book value is smaller than trade in value, then we will get gain on disposal. Now, look at example one Ronald Company Limited trade in old machine with a new machine on 5th of July 2019 and the following information related to the transaction. So we can see from the data given old machine and new machine. We can see the date of acquisition, 10th of July 2016, cost of asset RM20,000 for old machine, residual value 2000, rate of depreciation, and new machine, 5th of July for the date of acquisition, cost of asset RM30,000, residual value RM2000, and rate of depreciation 20%. So based on the reducing balance method. When we use redu uh, method of depreciation, reducing balance method, residual value is not included in the formula. So the trade in value for old machine was RM5000. Depreciation recorded in the month of purchase and no depreciation recorded in the month of disposal. In other words, the company used reducing balance methods based on monthly basis. Now, you are required to prepare journal entry to record the purchase of new machine on 5th of July 2019. And the second one, you are required to prepare adjusted journal entry to record depreciation expense for the year ended 31st December 2019. So, before we prepare adjusted journal entry, there are a few steps to calculate gain or loss. So, we must calculate gain 
or loss. We can prepare gain or loss by using calculation or journal entry. So the first one, we, have, we must calculate accumulated depreciation of old machine. The second one, we must calculate book value of old machine. The third one, we must compare book value of old machine with trade-in value. And if we find out trade-in value is bigger than book value of old machine, then we will, get, we will get gain on disposal. Or if book value is bigger than trade-in value, then we will get loss on disposal. There are a few steps of preparing general entry. Number one, remove all fixed asset or credit all fixed asset in the general entry. Number two, remove accumulated depreciation of all fixed asset or debit accumulated depreciation in the general entry. Number three, add new fixed asset or debit new fixed asset in the general entry. Number four, cash payment. The formula is cost of new asset less trade in value or credit cash in the general entry. Number five, calculate gain or loss or missing figure in the general entry. If the missing figure in the credit side, so we will get gain on disposal. Or if the missing figure in the debit side, then we will get loss on disposal. So we look at the schedule of asset, all asset. So you can see the depreciation expense, accumulated depreciation, and book value of all machine. So from 2016, we purchased the old machine July, and we have to calculate the depreciation 6 over 12 from July until December 2016. So we have to calculate Based on cost times the rate of depreciation, you get 2000. So, we have to calculate the accumulated depreciation and book value. How to get book value? Cost less accumulated depreciation. So, we get the first year book value RM18,000. For 2017, we must calculate depreciation expense 20% based on book value from last year. So we get depreciation expense RM 3,600 and accumulated depreciation for 2017 RM 5,600 and book value RM 40,400. And we have to do the same calculation until 2019. So for 2019, we must calculate depreciation from January to June of 2019, 6 over 12 times 20% times book value RM11,520 and you will get depreciation RM1,152 and the accumulated depreciation for 2019 of all machine is RM. 9,632 and book value RM 10,368. Now we have to calculate gain or loss by using the formula. So first you have to calculate accumulated depreciation based on the schedule. We got the accumulated depreciation of coal machine RM 9,000 632 and based on book value in the schedule or you can calculate using formula RM 10,368 and now we have to compare book value with trade in value so we can see that book value is bigger than trade in value so we'll get loss on disposal book value for all machine RM 10,368.
let's trade in value 5000 and you will get loss on disposal rm5368 now we can prepare the journal entry to record new machine purchased on 5th of July 2019 using reducing balance method based on monthly basis. Okay, the first one, we must remove the old machine, credit machine 20,000. Number two, we must remove Accumulated depreciation of old machine debit 9,632. Number three, we must record or we must add new machine debit sign 30,000. Number four, we must record cash payment in the journal entry credit side 25,000. And you can see number five, the missing figure. RM5368. So that one is lost on disposal. So the narration is to record disposal of machine at the date of disposal is 5th of July 2019. Now we have to prepare adjusted journal entry to record depreciation expense for the year 2019 based on monthly basis. So, the depreciation expense for new machine 5th of July 2019 until 31st December 2019 based on monthly basis 6 over 12 times RM30,000 and times 20% the rate of depreciation and you get RM3000. So we have to record debit depreciation and credit accumulated depreciation of new machine with the amount RM3000 and the narration is to record depreciation expense of machine. That's all for today. Don't forget to watch my next video and don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you.